All right, back on the Buffalo. It's late in the afternoon. I had a hell of a time sleeping last night. We've had a lot of smoke in the valley here from all the fires surrounding Montana and southwest Montana. And that smoke has been here all summer long, and it has driven me nuts breathing-wise. I, I end up coughing most of the night because of the, the uh, smoke. And uh, so it kept me awake all night last night. I, I think I got three hours sleep by about uh, 8 o'clock this morning. <clears throat> Finally settled it down a little bit and, and got some sleep and didn't get up until 3 o'clock this afternoon. I don't uh, like getting up that late. Anyway, I uh, did a little research. Uh, there's a, a gentleman online uh, on YouTube that... Uh, raises buffalo and i was able to capture the video using a program and uh, capturing photographs from the video uh, with detail of different parts of the buffalo uh, this this guy's called dunbar i think anyway if you notice around the eye there's not not any fur which i have on mine and so I've got to change that, and I didn't see that until I started seeing the detail of the, this buffalo. And then I got uh, some good detail of uh, his nose and uh, his eye, of course. And uh, even his sexual organs. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't know what a buffalo looks like in that department... I don't know how else you find out. You're not going to follow behind one and check it out because that buffalo could turn on you in a second and make you into mincemeat. Time to play with some clay. All right, while I was off camera, I worked on his vital organs, but I didn't think it'd be proper to show that because you never know when kids might see it and they'll say, Mommy, what's that? <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to create that kind of a question. When I was showing in galleries, it was... Uh, as soon as I started working on a horse's organs, I would get a couple coming in with their kids. And the little kids never failed. What's he doing, Daddy? <laughs> Just, and I, and the poor parent was trying to figure out how to explain it to him, and I was a little embarrassed, and so I tried to work on those things. <laughs> when I was working in the gallery to uh, work on those things when there, there were no kids around and people to, to cause a problem for parents. I uh, had a friend, Teresa, from Texas, ask me about the hips. And it seemed like one hip was lower than the other one, the other one was higher. And the one that was higher shouldn't have been higher because the weight was on this hip, not this hip. And she was absolutely right. So I'm... Thank you, Teresa, for noticing that. She's a fellow sculptor, sculptress out of Texas, and she's a dynamite sculptor. Her and her husband own a ranch down there. And uh, she's one of those fortunate people that have horses and just to look at, to work from. And uh, that makes a big difference. Now, I can go out and look at 
horses on people's ranches here if they're close to the road or if I years ago I was uh, cre creating a sculpture of a steer and uh, I had the same question about the uh, nest the package of the steer if you know what I mean and I uh, didn't have access to uh, good information back then to uh, answer my questions. And uh, I was uh, doing a show in Prescott, Arizona, and I was at a local saloon, which is a real famous saloon down there in Prescott. I can't remember the name of it. And uh, I was having a, a drink and standing at the bar with some friends and uh, I heard something behind me, a cluck clop cluck clop I turned around to look and there was a guy bringing a Brahma bull into the uh, bar and instead of wondering why am I seeing a Brahma bull in the bar, I was falling behind the Brahma bull trying to see how they hung on that uh, bull and answered all my questions <laughs> so as an artist you get your uh you get the uh information sometimes at the strangest places The old clay under this clay, this dark clay here, is causing problems because it is a lot harder. Uh, it, this clay is extremely old. Um, it's probably well over five years old, probably, probably closer. To, I don't know. I, I really can't remember when I started this piece. And, uh, but it's been many years and for me to be using that clay it was a long time ago because I haven't used that clay in literally years so it was a clay that I I think I started my old studio and if that's the case that's over five years ago and uh, it sat uh, on a shelf collecting dust for a long time and then when I moved into my newer home, the last one I was in, uh, it uh, sat on the shelf there, or on a table. So the clay has uh, gotten harder and uh, it's difficult to work. Now I'm not interested in getting every muscle showing. I want the form more than I want the muscles. Although I have to have the muscles underneath. I don't need to show every, every muscle. Because if you observe real buffalo in nature, uh, their muscles are covered in fat as well. And that obscures the uh, muscle structure. But you still got to have the form.
Well, it's getting late. I'm going to have to call it quits here in a few minutes. And I'll pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get some sleep. What took time today was doing the, going through those videos and picking out uh, little moments and making a photograph of it and then printing it out. Re research always take a lot of your time when you're working on a piece. Well, let's get the winds picking up and the lights are flickering occasionally. And uh, so I'm gonna probably have to call this a day. Boy, that old clay is just a pain in the wazoo. I drew with a magic marker on the clay the outline of the muscles and I think I'm going to have to take off this whole side here because that's old clay and uh, replace it with new clay and I'll do that tomorrow all right everybody that's going to be it for tonight and uh, I'll see you all next time I'm more excited. Let me let me put it this way. I wasn't excited about this piece when I first started re revisiting it, but I'm getting a lot more excited about it now. And it's because uh, of just changing a few things, like the leg position and and uh, even bringing that foot up. Uh, all those things contribute to uh, being happy with something when you're not happy with it. Just making a few changes. All right. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.